Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be making art in Microsoft Word because apparently I like to torture myself. No, my real reason is because I saw a video made by Jazza a few weeks ago and he did art in Microsoft Word and I was really impressed with what he was able to do because to me Microsoft Word is not an art program, it's clearly not an art program, but it has some good qualities, well I say good qualities, it has some qualities or some aspects where you could make some artwork and this is my entry for his hashtag word art with jazza contest and this is kind of like the process video so you can see how it's made and also i really recommend going into twitter and searching the hashtag because there are some really cool entries i was my mind was blown really and it really inspired me to create some myself so before i do some artwork i'm going to do some experimentation so what we can do, we have word art, if you all remember word art, if you were as old as me, you all remember rainbow word art, covering your schoolwork with rainbow word art. We can insert shapes, auto shapes, and auto shapes are really cool. We can do, we can add shadows, we can, if Microsoft Word behaves itself, add a glow, we can fill it, we can out, outline it, we can Breville fill, which kind of makes it look 3D. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? We also can insert some icons. So, of course, we're going to search for a mouse. because I'm using my tablet pen and of course we have to change the wrapping of it because that's just how it is and we're just gonna make him a big mouse there we go I love mice that is my artwork and we can of course type some nice ASMR there because my keyboard is really really loud I love mice there we go we can even change oh no we don't want that we can make it bold and red there we go and the new feature that microsoft have in windows 10 or the newest update is we have some pens so we have like a finer tip pen and you can draw and it does kind of have some pressure sensitivity but you can't really blend or layer. So this is the one pen. Isn't this just the most amazing artwork you've ever seen? And then there's this pen, which is a finer point. This one's the finer one. And the pencil, which actually is quite a decent, I say decent for Microsoft Word, it's quite a decent brush. Kind of looks like a pencil and an eraser which is kind of a weird something weird happens like I don't quite understand how this works <laughs> you're kind of erasing the whole thing rather than like bits of it like you do in a normal drawing program and we've also got some fancy texture brushes like this this is amazing look at that that is fabulous <laughs> that is so fabulous there's not many of these there's a rainbow one let's put some rainbow into this heart and give the mouse a bit of rainbow oh look at that this is this is my work of art this is my entry i'm done i'm done i'm done hashtag word art with Jazza. There you go. Thank you for watching, and that is all for today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. No, I'm only joking. Let's let's do some better art than this, shall we? So I began by making my background a deep blue color, 
And I realised when I was recording and editing the introduction part, my OBS Streamlabs is not set to um, record the window. So when I'm selecting colours, etc, you can't see that and you can't see all of the other little things I'm doing when I'm doing gradients or I'm doing textures, etc. You can't see it because I'm window recording rather than screen recording. So apologies there, but you can still kind of see what I'm doing and I'll just have to explain a bit as I go along. But yeah, that is why. So next time I do something like this, if I do more art in Microsoft Word again, I don't see myself doing this again. But if I do, I will make sure that I do a screen record so you can see all of the drop down menus. So after I'd done my background, I then added some auto shapes and I love auto shapes. I once did a professional piece of graphic design for my university making cogs out of auto shapes and I did it out of the stars and I did it by editing every single point and making loads of cogs and grouping and it was quite cool. It looked quite good, if I do say so myself. The lecturer liked it and paid me to do it, so, you know, I consider that a win. But yeah, auto shapes are really underrated in my opinion. I quite like working with them whenever I'm doing posters and stuff for work. I like to be creative with auto shapes. Anyway, my love for auto shapes aside, for the auto shapes I used the tier. I think it's a tier, it looks like a tier anyway. And I used five and group them together because the grouping tool is very good and then I added the line over the top and I filled them in greens, different shades of green and I used a gradient fill in different colours and you could edit the points of the gradient and that is one of the cool things about gradient in Microsoft programs. You can have as many colours and as many points as you like, I mean I wouldn't advise lots but you can go crazy with gradients if you want to and I did that and then I also added the reflection so it looks like the leaves are fading out as they come to the bottom and I did two longer ones and then some more in the middle clumped up and that is what I did for the background because I wanted to do a fox in a kind of not a field but in a kind of florally thing and I did kind of want to make it obvious that it was auto shapes but also make them look decent and I think I achieved that I really like how the leaves turned out how it's kind of like a reflection I did consider doing fish but I didn't in the end, I did a fox. So for the fox, I used the pencil. And this is quite frustrating because obviously you're doing this all in one layer. Microsoft Word brushes are very basic. The pressure sensitivity isn't what I'm used to. Not that I do a great deal of digital art, I do some, and I have been doing quite a bit more recently, but there isn't any real pressure sensitivity on the brushes. And there's only like a pen and a pencil. So that was quite limiting and I say I did layers but it's really all one layer and there was a kind of weird thing that happened with the pencil. It was really really odd because when you add the layers it's hard to explain what was happening but say I did a white sketch and then I added some orange and some brown and then I added white again. It would bring all of the white from the bottom layer in inverted commas to the top so I kept having to undo but it would only do it I think if the colour touched so if I overlapped on the top layer it would then bring it up but if I didn't overlap it was fine and this was really frustrating but thankfully you can undo quite a lot. So I started off really how I do all of my animals I blocked out the colours first did a rough sketch did some rough blocking out and the layer and then just built up layers and I used quite the thick pencil and then use the finer point um, on the upper layers and all oh, for the eyes I just use the pen for the solid colour and then the pencil to try and blend it a little bit and I think the eyes work quite nicely I think they work really well so yeah it was quite challenging but I used a variety of oranges peaches whites greys yellows and browns and yeah there is you can't see it because OBS wasn't recording this part of it but there is a really good color selection on Microsoft Word you can really get a lot of colors there's a big color chart that you can kind of slide around and then slide from light to dark it works really really well and I was able to do this I couldn't find a color picker though for when I was using the brushes which was really annoying I thought that there would be one because you can color pick on pretty much anything else but yeah like when you're filling auto shapes for example or doing texts and stuff you can color pick that way but you can't do it with your pencil which i feel is a bit silly so microsoft sort it out please 
So yeah, I just built up the layers of the fox and this took quite a long time. There was quite a lot of footage for this, so it is sped up quite fast. So apologies if it is a little bit flashy, but there was a lot of footage. This took quite a long time and it took me quite a long time to get it to the point where I liked it. And I think it works quite well. I like the texture of the pencil brush and I think that works quite well for drawing fur. And I did it how I normally draw fur, where I kind of like to suggest the fur rather than do every single little strand. And there's quite a lot of white fur and I do have a video that I recently released if you want some tips on how to draw white fur and looking for other colours. So for the white parts I didn't just use white, I used orange, greys, browns as well. So yeah, and I think it looks like a fox. I think it's kind of semi-realism. It's not quite a realistic portrait of a fox, but I like it. I think it looks quite cute. And then for the grass underneath or over the top of the fox, I made sure that it was on the top layer. I keep saying layers. Word doesn't really work with layers. You can send things backwards and bring things forwards, but there isn't really layers. So for this, I used auto shapes again because I love auto shapes. I used the moon and made it quite thin and long and placed them off the page. So you only got the top part and then I grouped them in threes, grouped it together. And then I copied and pasted, flipped them, changed the color, added some shadow. So when it was over the fox, there is a slight shadow drop because word does that. You can use shadows. And then I used the bevel fill to make it look a bit 3D. So it made it look like it was a 3D piece of grass and I used some darker shades. I put some behind the fox and I ended up having to send it backwards and then bringing it forward so it wasn't, so the reflection wasn't over the top of the grass. So the reflection was in a good place. It was behind the grass. And I used some really dark greens for the very background and I used some lighter greens for the foreground and just made it look grassy. I think it probably would have looked better if I'd have done some grass maybe with the pencil, but I wanted to use auto shapes as much as possible. I did try at one point, I didn't think, I don't think I recorded this, I did try and use word art and I tried to write the quick brown fox and then kind of make it into like a circle or so you couldn't quite read it and just repeat that to make some nice grass blades but Microsoft Word couldn't handle that because Microsoft Word is not a graphics program. When I was getting towards the end of this piece when I was doing the grass it kept going Microsoft Word is not responding which gave me flashbacks to when I was writing my PhD, which was like 250 pages long with quite a lot of images. It did that a lot, so it was quite traumatic, so I stopped. So yeah, that would have been a shame. I would have liked to include word art as well, but I wanted to include quite a lot of auto shapes and the pencil because I didn't just want to use the pencil to draw the piece. I wanted to use as much as I could with Microsoft Word. I feel like I probably could have added some more stuff could have added some more, maybe I could have added some icons, but they kept going quite back and it was having a bit of a fit when I was trying to add icons towards the end. So we just mainly have auto shapes and pencil, but we have a variety of auto shapes and I've used quite a bit of variety of colouring techniques. I say colouring techniques, fill techniques is probably the best way and fill effects and shape effects. So we have gradients, bevel, shadow, reflection, that kind of thing. And at the very end I added some stars with the white precision pen because this is a fox that's come out at night. And I was really pleased with how this piece turned out. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever tried to make art with Microsoft Word? Have you entered this contest? If you have you could leave a link to it in the comments and I will go and check it out. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Katie. I don't normally do art on Microsoft Word but I do like to push myself. I have quite a few challenge videos. And I do digital art, but I use Krita normally. So if you're new, do feel free to subscribe and have a look around my channel. And if you like this video, you know, emotionally, do leave me a like down below as that really does help me out. And let me know in the comments below how you think I did. And let me know if you remember using rainbow word art for your school projects. So that is all for this video. I hope you like it. I think I'm really pleased with how this piece turned out. Not sure I'm going to put it on Redbubble or anything, but considering I did this in Microsoft Word, I think this is a good effort. And do go and check out the hashtag on Twitter and have a look at everyone else's entries. But that is all I have to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.